first day of school is just about two weeks away, yet doors at Vineland High School's South Building display asbestos danger signs. A much larger than anticipated amount of the cancer causing substance was discovered about three weeks ago during a construction project. We are completely renovating the HVAC system within the building. Um, we had no air conditioning prior to this year. And during the course of some demolition in the project, they found some asbestos that had been encased in the walls um, that we did not know about. The Violent School District says no students were in danger from the asbestos because it was contained in the walls. New Jersey Schools Development Authority, which is overseeing the $10 million air conditioning project, is spending an extra million dollars to have a contractor remove the asbestos. We have been assured that everything will be removed in time for the start of school, uh, which is September 6th. There might be a couple cosmetic issues in the building in a couple sections, but there shouldn't be any danger to the students. The asbestos appears to be contained to one wing of the building, which includes the cafeteria and band room, but not the classrooms. As of late last week, the district was told the removal is going on time, but it's a tight window and any setback might risk cutting into the school year. So the district has a plan B. We've discussed split sessions, uh, having some students in the morning and some in the afternoon, but that's last resort. We don't think it'll come to that. The Violent School District says the asbestos removal is an all or nothing operation, meaning they will not open the affected portion of the building until they're sure all the asbestos is gone. So that moving forward, they don't have any health concerns for students or staff. In Vineland, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.